guys welcome back okay so I decided to grab some singles from give me glow now I have a couple of their palettes I have the vintage rose and I have the juicy olive which I still haven't tried yet but I did want to go ahead and order some of their singles to try them out now why didn't I know that the singles are the same size as the shadows and the palettes? Because the shadows and the palettes are rather large and so are these singles. Very, very nice size pans. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, these are the shades that I picked out on the website. It's always hard for me to pick singles because of course I always want them all, but my pocketbook can't handle that so anyways these are the colors I picked and I think that I picked some nice shades to play around with for spring so yeah I want to do an eye look using some of these shadows together so I'm going to go ahead and do some swatches and maybe that will help me come up with which ones I want to use for an eye look and I'll just put the name on the screen because I don't want to take them all out and do all of that right now I'm just gonna swatch them and see what it do okay <laughs> whoa okay i didn't expect that <laughs> oh my goodness okay these shadows are so pigmented it's actually hard for me to get them off of my fingers when I'm trying to clean my fingers to do the next swatches. Yo. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's hard for me to describe how they feel because it's like they're so pigmented and when you pick them up, just putting a little bit on your fingers, look how much Oh my gosh, look at that pigmentation and that color even after I swatch it. And I'm not picking up a lot. It's just so freaking pigmented. Oh, that's crazy. O-M-G. Oh my god okay so these are all the shimmers that i picked you guys oh oh my goodness i know i just did a blue eye look but i might have to put that blue on my eyes today oh my gosh it's so gorgeous okay so i'm going to just swatch the mattes on my hand oh my goodness that plummy purple shade yo now that is some pigment for real oh my goodness very very nice <laughs> Okay, so today I'm going to use my e.l.f. All Day Stay Eyeshadow Primer. Okay, you guys, I don't know where to start with this uh, collection of shadows, but since I didn't pick a transition shade, <laughs> I'm going to start with this shade here. And just place it in my crease and kind of blow it out. Oh, that's really nice and very easy to blend out. As you can see, I'm able to just kind of buff it up on my lid so it kind of looks like I actually have a transition there even though I don't yo this pigmentation is crazy you guys 
so, so nice. Okay, now I'm gonna go into this deep, dark, plummy purple shade. And hopefully I don't mess anything up, <laughs> but I'm gonna use this to deepen my outer corner and my crease. You guys, I have no idea what the plan for this eye look is. I just know that I want to try out these shadows. Oh, I really, really like that color. Look at that pigmentation, you guys. It's so deep and rich. Oh, that's pretty. Very nice. Okay, you guys, so I have my crease work and outer corner work done. Now I have to figure out what I want to put on my lid. I kind of want to do like an orange and purple thing since I have that going on in my crease, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, that purple is so pretty. I think I'm just going to go with the purple and not the orange. So I'm just going to go with this shade here. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to go into this shade here once again and tap that next to that shimmer just so I can kind of incorporate all of these colors on my lid as well. Now back in with that dark purple. Okay, so this is what we have you guys for the eyes this kind of purple and orange ombre situation going on. I'm gonna put on some eyeliner and finish the rest of my complexion and we'll come back and finish up these eyes. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go in with a purple eyeliner for my lower lash line. Now going back into this dark purple shade and I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line. Okay, so now on my lower lash line, I think for the inner corner, I wanna go ahead and put a little bit of this shimmery orange shade. For mascara, I'm going to use my LA Girl Volumatic Mascara today. Okay, so for lips, I want to put on one of my Dose of Colors lipsticks. It's pretty bright. So I am going to go in with my ColourPop BFF4 lip liner, hopefully to tone it down a little bit. This lipstick smell kind of good. It kind of smells like a mix between fruit and chemical. <laughs> I thought about going nude today, but I have so many lipsticks that I'm not using that are not getting any use that I'm like, I gotta use some color. Okay, you guys, so let's talk about these shadows. Now, 
I love the selection of colors that I chose. I mean, these are going to be perfect for spring and summer. They're gorgeous, vibrant, extremely pigmented. I mean, I love these shadows, you guys. They blend it out so nicely and they're just super easy to work with. I mean, creating this eye look was just a breeze. I haven't figured out yet. I mean, you guys know I don't use my fingers for eyeshadow, but I haven't figured out yet uh, what is the best way for the shimmer shadows because I mean that purple is showing up beautifully using a brush But I think even like a foam applicator or a silicone applicator would make it pop even more Because when I swatched it you guys saw the swatches. Okay, just so so pretty um, But I love all of these shadows. I really really do with the shimmers, it's like hard to describe because they're kind of like thick and you know, you might think kind of crumbly, but it's just that they're so pigmented and they're so dense that, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's hard to describe. You can only feel it by swatching it yourself, but I mean, you see, that pigmentation in that shimmer is just crazy, but it's like they're just so thick and opaque. They are not sheer, at least the ones that I got, they are not sheer at all. But I love these shadows, you guys. I really don't have much more to say about these Gimme Glow shadows. They're just gorgeous and were a dream to work with. So. Anywho, I will list everything down in the description box that I used on my face today. All the shadows that I chose just in case you want to pick some up for yourself. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to create this quick little look. I love it. And don't forget to hit that like and I will see you on my next video.